been like heavy with the uh, live performance scenes, man. How, how how's that? How is 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 great. I see you out there, like like shit. I recorded a few, like yeah. The thing with the thing with what I'm doing now with the showcases, cause I know probably everybody who watching like yo, this nigga talk all that shit about doing these showcases. <laughs> And now yeah, every drill, but no, like I'm trying to accomplish something and it's working. Like I'm trying like I got tired of uh complaining about shit. So I decided to just lead by example. Like instead of just keep telling everybody how it should be, just show them. So that's why I, I like, alright, let me let me go start fucking with these showcases and Kind of like infantry, you know, ain't change the shit from the inside, and it's working though. Like when you when you see them now, you start seeing more artists working with each other. Like I was at a John um in Voltage not too long ago, and one of the celebrity Philly rappers. Yeah, you know I man, I don't really, I don't really feel like it. Getting <laughs> the niggas' names and shit, but he was one of the judges down at John, and after. The event, he say, yo, I want to work with everybody that performed tonight. Like, I want to do a song with everybody that performed tonight. You know what I mean? With some shit like that where probably not six months ago, these niggas wanted 500 of verse. You know what I mean? They, they, on that tight time. But just little shit like that showing me that this niggas paying attention and they and they see it's working, man. That, that shit work, man. Just take that's it, and that's what the showcases is about. Like I'm trying to show people, like it's strength in numbers, man. Yeah, you know I man. I don't really like to say what I got going on because you see it. Yeah, like I, I like to just prove with show my actions. Action. Yeah, yeah, that's all. So everything you see me doing, know it's for a reason. Don't think I'm out here uh, contradicting myself, you know what I mean? <laughs> or some shit like that. No, it's, everything is for the good, man, for the great intent. Believe me. That was a good event for, like, networking. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. she, she brought out radio stations from Jersey, New York, and... You know, a bunch of people I never met before that maybe we just followed each other on the gram or something and we never really linked in person. I mean, like, shout out uh, Real Rap Radio Show. I linked with them, finally met them in person. And it's been all love. So that event was really good for networking, so to speak. Like, I don't know what, like, they had judges, but I don't know what you won. or I, Like, I didn't really stick around for that. I had something up to handle, but... Yeah, like, that's, a, like, the showcases, everybody know this, man. All the showcases are good for is to meet other artists because there's never fans around. Like, it's not, like, you know what I mean? It's never, <laughs> it's just always artists. It's you, you just meet a whole bunch of artists. That's what it's good for. Like, they shouldn't even show them, just call them showcases. They should just call them Network performance Niggas shows. come meet each other. <laughs> <laughs> you two niggas meet right here. You know what I mean? Shit like that. Because when you leave, all the numbers in your phone is going to be somebody who got an internet radio station or somebody who want to work with you. Or, man, that's it. Like, that's what you really get from them. But what I'm doing is trying to show people that if you do take them numbers and use them, holler at them radio stations or whatever, you can make it worth something. Like, it might not be worth nothing. Now, you doing the internet radio drink, no, nah, it ain't. But the more people, you know what I mean? You can make it be something. And that's what I'm trying to show motherfuckers. Like, man, just, you know, reach out. Like, I don't know. I want to say I was in, like, my DJ Khaled bag for this job. Like, at first, that's how I, I, that's how I was sounding. Like, I had got a bunch of features or whatever but you know like always same thing with Eastside Fame a lot of people change up before shit even so a lot of the people I did songs with 
kind of switched on me. So I had to go back in and change. So now it ain't that many feet. Like it's a lot of features, but it's a, it's more solo joint. Yeah, you know I man. But yeah, DJ No Frills hosting it, Dre the Joker hosting it. Like you know what I mean? So it's, I'm trying to give y'all something solid you can rock all the way through without, you know, feeling like it's loop. You know how you get a CD now and then the motherfuckers like to put all these best songs, like the first full, the first full song, then after that, you got it. But no, I, ain't, I try to get y'all a solid drink all the way through, like Eastside Fame. From what I was saying, everybody told me Eastside Fame was a straight through, like, classic drink. Like, you not skipping nothing on it. You know what I mean? If it was up to me, I probably... I probably would skip. <laughs> I ain't gonna say what y'all not skip. But it's some skipper moves on Eastside Fame for me and shit. But I don't really got nothing on no pressure to so shout out everybody that came through on that drink. Yeah, man. They did their part. And we got another classic, man. Uh, oh, shout out. Shout out Novi, too. Novi Wine Entertainment. I just worked something out with her, like a uh, promotional deal, so to speak. You yeah, mean, she real solid. She got a lot going on, too. Uh, just got the billboard put up. Matter of fact, this weekend, not this weekend, but I think the 23rd, we going out out New York to the uh, the Rough Rider situation, the Rough Rider reunion, hmm. or something like that. So we going out there, we partying with her, and that's for specifically Novi One Entertainment member. So if y'all really, you know what I mean, if y'all trying to ride, we, we out in and ain't an arm and a leg. It's nothing really like. You could get a seafood platter with how much it costs you to go out and party with it. You know what I mean? So, get with Novi on that note. Um, shout out Life of Cat from Life Entertainment. Uh, Bella, Mischief, Ransom, my guy. Uh, whoa, Ben. Ben ain't been in the mix like that, but shout Ben out. You know what I mean? They like an extended family. You know what I mean? So when you see me with my life and shit on, because a lot of people ask me, like, yo, that's who you signed to? Like, you signed with life for, uh, it ain't, you know, like, some of these, they don't always have to have paperwork behind real shit. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, main man, good, be good people. And we gonna, we gonna get it. Whatever I can do, I'm gonna help. And he feel the same way. So that's how we rolling. Like, you know what I mean? Shout out to you, you know, darkest woman ever, my man, she, he got his shit going on. I can't say shout out she without saying free Crystal Lake Keys. It just, it go hand in hand, like, you got to shake both. But the darkest moment ever movement, that's something we pushing now, too. And I don't want everybody to think, like, it's, it's negative. You know what I mean? When you see him perform, he got the Jason mask on and... He going crazy, so people automatically think like, oh, these bulls are... <laughs> but no, we ain't on that, man. We just try and get our story out. And it's so many different rappers telling the same story we telling. It's hard to make it believable.